and join. All right, we're live. We're All live. right. All right, we're let's live. do it. Hey gang, oh. FLX Beer Reviews, back again with a live StreamYard doodad thing. I didn't get to do this intro just about 20 minutes ago, because I didn't have Mike here, but now Mike is joined. Mike has now destroyed the entire myth that Mike does not exist on live streams. Yes, Dan, thank you. We are not pre-recording this, and I'm responding perfectly to what you have just said. <laughs> and we are here with... Insert name now. Bumpy. Wonderful. Jenny Cremail. <laughs> From Rochester, New York. This is a wonderful <laughs> Pilsner. Hold this on, is the script. Hold on. The, 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 script, the, the script is getting too... It's just... I can't follow the script anymore. Uh, this is five point. One percent ABV. <laughs> Jesse's examining his own. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's like a lie in there, did you? Ooh. Oh boy. Well, it's a good thing I have a second can. Uh, <laughs> uh. So, I got the old Rochester glass here. Oh, you got the Jenny. Oh, the old three yeah. mail glass. I I was gonna grab that one, but I said, you know what? I never use this Rochester Hop Butters glass. Oh, I I, I could have sworn you were gonna grab this glass. I was like, oh, I'm getting mine out too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I no, it's funny because I thought you were gonna grab this one. Oh, that's pretty great. All right. Oh, look, and uh, you're a appropriate glassware there, puppy. Well, I'm smutty nose. Well, looks like beer, Dan. <laughs> it looks like beer. <laughs> looks like a light it beer. Certainly does. Um, so the thing about it, cream ale is, if I can bring it up, I had it up, disappeared on me. It's an ale. They're using uh, ale well, yeast. Here's the thing, Genesee says the goal was simple: a beer with the flavor of an ale and the smoothness of a lager. Well, how That's how that? Genesee Cream Ale, the brainchild of the brewery, became an American original. Today, every batch of cream ale is skillfully brewed to achieve its smooth character and remarkably creamy white head, worthy of its name. Constructed by exactly 12 horses. I looked, I looked up, because um, we had a discussion, um, I think it was on Bear Man's, okay. maybe whatever, but he was brewing the Kolsch, right? So there was a thing that got brought up about, like, well, what's the difference? Like, what's a steam it? A steam beer. So I talked about that, and then it went to well, with the Kolsch. Then it's like because they're they're both styles that are kind of done. They're brewed the same but opposite. Um, and then the cream ale is a lot like a Kolsch, um, where they're using an ale yeast, but it's fermented at a slightly lower temperature and stuff like that. But with the cream ale, they're using corn adjuncts and stuff as well, which they don't use in Kolsch's. So. That's Interesting. The biggest stuck on that also beer patrol in Cologne, Germany. You know what? Beer patrol may have his facts, but he ain't got a bumpy. We got a bumpy. See that, Mike? <laughs> no, that's really cool. Whip on this that's bad boy. Cool. Yeah. It's it's sweet corny. Yeah. Sweet corny with a touch. Of the floor surrounding the pool table at your local dive bar. Oh, I get that. Some of the felt is in there. It actually, um, so I used to bounce, and at the end of the night at the bar, I'd have to take out the trash. Yeah. And one of those nights, the trash, um, while I was thrown in the dumpster, broke open on me. And that's what it smells <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> it it, right, it tastes like a, sweet a corn muffin. The left, the <laughs> left <good> voice. <laughs> Bumpy can drink another. Cheers. All right, cheers. cheers. It does kind of have a slight creamy mouthfeel to it. It does. And like, 
I guess I just I always knew it was sweet, but it's coming off like pretty sweet. I like in agree. To, yeah, but I've been drinking a lot of Jenny late lately, so maybe that's like you're really getting the the apples and oranges kind of deal with this. I was gonna say Whereas, this thing tastes like a honey glazed apple muffin. Ooh, I don't like apples. We're, we're in trouble. Do you, do you they hurt my tongue. Do you get a little apple from this? Uh, I get it's to me almost coming off. I mean, obviously there's that kind of sweet kind of corn still, um, but I get almost like a berry type note. I think, but okay. I could see I could see where apple could come in, like a golden, like maybe a gold one of those. What's gold? The golden, delicious. The golden delicious. Yeah. So here's here's the thing, like the carbonation level. I mean, I got slow rising bubbles going up top, but it's a little crisp on the front of the tongue. But then it just c completely smooths out. It's like it's like satin. You know Ooh. what I mean? If, if, if I could feel, if I could like have satin as a drink. Like that's kind of the mouthfeel, but it does have some heft to it. Back back in the nineties, you could have Saturn as a car <laughs> <laughs> with their central dash system. You know, you know what? I, hey, if I'm driving down the road, I see someone driving by and they're in a Saturn. I just, I, I just shake my head for me. I'm like, look at you, look at you, just ride it into the sunset. Dude, How is that uh, engine still running? <laughs> actually, the last Saturn I saw, I believe it was like a Saturn van. Oh, jeez. Not even one of the little cars, the little sedans or whatever. Yeah. Did you did anybody, like ever kick, did anybody ever kick a Saturn door to watch it pop back out again? <laughs> no. no. They, they were dent resistant paneling. Is that right? That was the thing about the Saturns, yeah. I did not know they used that. some like polyamor plastic in it and stuff. It was, yeah. I, so I totally said pretty, that polyamor um, thing because I can't. I don't know the pronunciation of it. Not so those I Saturn cars that. were going to come up in this. No. This is pretty Definitely wild. Said, I, I've never, uh, I've never sat down to drink a Jenny and actually think about it like a cream ale. It's always just this like, like got to be one of the best cream ales I've ever had. I did, it hasn't been this good in quite some time for me, at least. I, I think I I really think it's a really good cream ale. It's a very good. It's at least for our area, it's kind of the gold standard for cream ale. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. How many cream ales are there? Oh well, I guess there are some craft breweries like in my area that are making some cream ales. A cream ale that you guys yeah. really love because um, you liked the. Uh, spicy Bohemian, yeah. That I said, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. The jalapeno uh, pilsner, uh, but we have a cream ale made by Conquer Craft, and they use jalapenos in it. And that beer to me tastes a lot like a jalapeno popper. You just need to add, okay. cheese. but it's got that kind of breadiness from the cream ale and. Oh. Yeah, it's so give it such hard more in the way. I got, yeah, a, I, got six a, pack of the, I got a six pack of the tall boys. So did I. Yeah. <laughs> of the Jenny. It's definitely like bumpy up to yeah. what you were saying. Like because Jenny Cream Ale is such a state standard cream ale, so many of the local craft breweries brew their own cream ale. So they end up being very plentiful. Yeah. Yeah. See, the thing is, like, I don't necessarily buy the six pack of Tall Boys that often because it's just so, I mean, it's so cost effective to buy it in a 12 pack or more. Yeah, you know I mean? pretty much. <laughs> 30 pack. I was going to say 30 rack. You're just better off buying yeah. that. Sixteen ninety nine here. What is it for you guys? It's around that last time I checked. Uh, actually, last time I was at Wegmans, I want to say it was. 14 or 15. I mean, it should be cheap. Oh, geez, guys. I mean, it's brewed right next to you. Oh, so. you would think. Yeah. Uh, a 12 pack at Wegmans, $8.99. So, um, I paid for the so yeah, that, that would make sense with their $15.99 uh, price point. 
Um, but yeah, it's around here though, especially our region, just because this is so, you know, it's an icon. Every freaking brewery around here makes a cream ale. Like you can't go to a craft brewery around here and not find a cream ale. You know what I'm like, gonna do? What's that? I'm gonna I'm gonna write an email to Jenny. And I'm gonna say, hey, could you guys do like a fifth a fifteen fifteen pack? <laughs> and do like fifteen of the Jenny Light and fifteen of the cream ale. So for the thirty pack mix. They you, could do mixes. Listen, you're you're aiming you're aiming way too low. They both the need same is, price for a thirty pack. No, listen, we need the true sampler pack. You need the cream ale, the light, and the regular Jenny. I've never and had the Jenny the ice. I've never had the. I've never I had the ice. I, the ice. A long time ago, I, I drank that I, ice. I, think I saw the Jenny ice. I don't know if I've ever had it. I've had the Jenny light. The Jenny light. It's called Jenny Black. Yeah. Oh, I, I haven't had it then. It'd be funny just to go to the bottle shop and make your own 30 pack out of all the Jenny beers you can, you can get. Oh, open up one end of the. And just... <laughs> yeah. Just start putting, putting in what you want. It's uh, <laughs> throw a couple 12 horses in there for good measure. It was just, it was opened. And... So it's, nope. it's, a, it's an 8% uh, lager. Yeah, I definitely have not. That's like yeah, uh, we'll have to, that's we'll like we'll a forty five. Uh, the big one. What do they call those? I can't think. The which one? The Colt forty five. But then they have the the. Imperial. Oh, the forty ounces. Huh? We talking about forty ounces? Yeah. Old English. Well, any one of them, but they do yeah. like they do like their standard. But then they have the other ones. And I can't. Oh, think high of gravity, them. high gravity, high gravity. Thank you. There you go. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All, I'll that, think about that's like about, Jenny High Gravity. <laughs> oh, dude, the only thing I think about with high gravity is is freaking dog bite and then steel reserve. Steel reserve. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. Um, yeah, that's vomit, Bill. Trust but me. yeah, man. Uh, Jenny Cream Ale. I mean, there's. What, what else can you say? It's just it's um, really good. It's, it's it's gonna taste like New York State, <laughs> basically. It, it tastes better drinking it than chugging it. <laughs> okay. okay, I can see that. I can see that. Get a few more subtleties out of it at this point. Yeah. Now the uh, next batch of cream now might taste different because I think they just pushed a bunch that. of sludge out of the Genesee River or something. So that might the next batch might be a little tainted. But. <laughs> I'll go with the body or two in there. Mike here to like revive me because I, I did um, during my chug. I, I I wasn't breathing the last like seven <laughs> seconds. Of that chug. I think I, I died for a minute. Seven seconds to chug, anyways, for a twelve ounce beer, but it did. <laughs> well, like, you basically just had like an out of body experience. <laughs> I went to sleep and I had a dream. Came back. <laughs> I woke up, yeah, I was still drinking like it. Opening up your beers and I'm like, what's going on? Uh, let's check out some comments here. Uh, Yummo beer. I got gypped on the intro. I Chadio, you know what? I didn't do the intro. My apologies. It just didn't feel right without Mike. You know, I just, I felt awkward without Mike. You know. Yeah, I mean, that might have made for good comment though, or content. Um, says this review is gold. By the way, Mike, uh, one of our uh, longtime viewers, friend of the channel, Jesse C. Friend of, no, not Jesse. Jesse, Jesse oh. C. Oh, oh, okay. From Untapped. He's from Cali. Sent beer, sent, sent the Wondrous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Petrine pills and all that. Yep. Um, he was convinced the reason you weren't on the stream was you were just in the background doing the lighting. I was making you do the lighting. So just putting that out. That would be hilarious. Yeah. That, that's um, the final key to getting the lighting good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, there's a. Uh, Joey Chuck Chuck, the Beer Patrol, uh, cream ale variant with Genesee River Sludge. Well, <laughs> that'll be the next batch, well, I swear. I, mean, I think they dragged all the bodies out of the river now, so it should be. Yeah, better. but they just released some toxic waste into it. Yeah, oh, really? so someone dumped some waste into it. And <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> that river. 
But what's good is because they said, why don't worry, because it could have been 120 million uh, gallons of sludge versus <laughs> the 250,000 gallons it was. Or, yeah, so it could have been way more. Yeah, it could have been way more. That, that's could've the been. silver lining. <laughs> The next cream ale looks like Mountain Dew. Yeah, the next cream ale <laughs> looks like Mountain Dew. And like... Tastes like Steel Reserve. Yeah, it tastes like Steel Reserve. <laughs> you just start growing appendages. <laughs> Jesse's like, I'll still chug it. Mm. Yeah, I'll bleed afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Stomach lining split open. <laughs> Liquefies it from the um, five, 5% ABV on this, right? Five one, yeah. Oh, five one. Five one. You're it's right, Dan. But this does have a little bit of heft to it, like more heft than you would think. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it, over the the statements about this, like being close to what a Kolsch is, mm -hmm. I would rather have a Kolsch because um, it mm -hmm. doesn't have the adjunct, you know, the the corn yeah. and stuff. So, um, it, it's just a bit more clean. I feel. Um, I think that's what I like about the Jenny Light over this. Yeah, is the uh, not that it's lower ABV and you you know feel better about yourself. Uh, <laughs> but no one's uh, trying to feel better about it, it has, it has more of a cleanly a cleanly flavor to it. It's, it's you know this this kind of does have a bit of a. It's almost like that that Boston dirty water. It does. It, it lays heavy. It does lay a little heavy on the on the palate. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like cream ale is definitely like you're drinking light beers, but then you want something with a little extra oomph. You know, just just the light. Sw I could vary. I could like drink a few mm -hmm. Jenny light beers, like mowing the lawn or whatever. Pop a cream ale, then go back to maybe a light beer. Maybe yeah. pop another cream ale. Yeah. It's gonna go back and forth on. I, I know. I can see fun. people not liking the sweetness. Like, I mean, the sweetness yeah. in moderation is okay. Yeah. Th these um, the Jenny beers though, are beers that like a they're cheap. They're like mm -hmm. some of the cheapest beers that I can purchase. But they're beers that I can stomach. Like I can sit here and drink like four or five in a session back to back to back and not be tired of them. I can't say the same thing for Budweiser. Yeah. I, I yeah. bought and, and you're spending a premium for Budweiser too. Mm. I bought a 30 pack of Budweiser two beers in. I regretted it. <laughs> I'm like, I can't drink any more of this. There's something yeah. about Budweiser that I just, it, it hurts me. I don't know. I've always thought that too, about regular Bud just, it, there's something about it. Yeah, it's like I don't. The flavor gets to me. I start getting a headache. I'm like, ah. but that's all the kind of thing about the Jenny beer. It's it's cheap, cheap, but it's I think it's a higher quality than a yeah. lot of your other like macro kind of beers. I think with Jenny, like if I ever moved out of this area, right, and moved like out of state. I think this is something like if I came back home to visit or fam, I would just like literally load up the back seat <laughs> with just like cases of all the Jennies. And it'd still be cheap as crap. Like, dude, before the Kolsch ended in the summer, late fall, oh, I sent yeah. the picture to Mike. My front seat was stacked. I put the seat belt. I had like six 12 packs of like Ruby Red and Pineapple Kolsch. And it was still cheaper than like going out the other half and buying like, you know, six six packs or six four packs. I mean, the way they can stay consistently cheap for a higher quality, you know, cheap beer as it is, is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, especially with the seasonals. Um. So, all right, check this out. We got Joe with a good point. Maybe uh, I wonder if at some point or even currently the cream ale uses flaked maize as opposed to regular corn. Probably would help with that slight creaminess you get. It's Jenny, so who knows? He's just trying to one up Bumpy after Bumpy yeah. dropped all that knowledge. Yeah, so I come up with something. Uh, the beer patrol says, "Bro, when Jenny beer cream ale light is 15, 18, 15 to eighteen bucks for a thirty rack, and Budweiser's twenty four to twenty five, 
Nope, nope, effing yeah. nope. Uh, what is this cream I highly speak of? <laughs> uh, Sammy wants Jenny so bad. Um, and Kyle, yes, that is Mike. I did not pre-record him. He is actively live. And just to prove it, I'm a Mike. What what is the time of day right now? The time of day, Dan, is eight seventeen p.m. See, that's what time it is, Dan. Whatsoever. Um, that is not AI either. I'm really uh, glad <laughs> that no hype beer reviews. <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe says. Joe says he's pre-recorded. <laughs> It's freaking AI, Bumpy says. Uh, uh, Bumpy dropped knowledge. Joe, Bumpy put your whole channel to shame with the amount of knowledge he dropped about cream ale and Kolsch's and lagers. Like, you're screwed. Just wrap and it up. I think the Bumpy. difference is, Dan, that this time when we had someone on the channel that was dropping knowledge like that, we actually learned something. Indeed. Indeed. And... He did it without a whiteboard behind the camera with all the knowledge True. so he can act like he remembers everything. But we all know the secret. Anyways. That bumpy road. He is a smart fella. All right. Uh, really quick before we uh, lose track. Got a short-term memory, though. So. What, what, what do we rate this cream ale? Out of, now, what are we rating it out of? Like all the cream ales or just – If you if – you your I'll own you personal what. preference. If, if you want to do a personal preference and then a score out of cream ales, you can do that. Uh, we do that sometimes on our channel. Yeah. yeah. Now he's looking at the uh, whiteboard. It's all beautiful mind in front of him. He's just numbers. Well, you guys go ahead and think about that and talk about that. I'm going to think about. Okay. <laughs> he's got to write it down. He's like, I got, I got to put down the numbers. <laughs> So I, I think it is hard to rate it because it's the freaking goat of all the cream ales. Oh, freaking Von Trapp. I'm going to try it, It's the one that sets the bar for at least you and I living in the state. You know, it's always like anytime you have another cream ale, you set it up against Jenny. Yeah. I, I don't even know what I rate it typically if I check it in. I'm going to look. Okay. So typically when I check it in, I give it a 3.75. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm okay with that. Maybe like a personal preference, maybe I give it a 4. But for the beer it is, I give it a 3.75. I think it's it's above average. It's not like blow your mind. Yeah. You know, crazy yeah. good. But it's I think it's above average. It's a very drinkable thing and i'll give it the four adding in that price point it's yeah fun. it's freaking jenny like with all their seasonals too people are like well it's not like the greatest spring bock or it's not the greatest whatever i don't care bro it's 9.99 for a 12 pack 10.49 for a 12 pack i don't care hard to argue with that like of all of all the beers you ever want to throw price point into, it, like you always put it in with Jenny. Like it's so good and it's friggin' cheap. Yeah, I I do prefer the Jenny Light over the Cream Ale. Um, personal preference on that. Different uh, different style. One is actually a lager. One is an ale. Uh, but they both got corn <laughs> or maize. <laughs> Um, uh, it's maze. flaked maze, Michael. Flaked maze. I'm sorry. Flaked I mean, maze. Yeah, I mine in my in the good category. So my good category for my 50 points is between 36 and 40. I'd say the Jenny Cream Ale is like a good solid 38, 38 and a half. For me. Okay. All right. Cool. So basically, a full point, a half a point to a full point higher than you. Yeah. On yours, there. So. Yeah. Dan. Yeah, I think the four, my personal is right around there. Yeah. Oh, you said your personal was a four. My personal is a four, based on what it is, it's three point seven five for me out of five. Um, Mike, did you? you no, I rate it. Um, I'll definitely, man, I'll give it a a three eight all around for what it is and personal. I think it's it's really solid, and I've grown to appreciate it more as the years have gone on. I think the batches have gotten better. It used to have a weird tang for me. 
but we'll see how I am in the morning. If I'm friggin' screaming, then I know we're up to a five. So yeah, right. I'll give it a three eight. Okay, cool. All right. Um, yeah. The glassware, Another... however, is a solid ten. Yeah, yeah I don't break out. I don't break out this uh, type of glass for n nothing. Ooh, English bumpy. <laughs> that's um, that's old school too. So wrong. Rochester hot oh, yeah. But it, easily one of my most used pint glasses that I that yeah. I have. <laughs> yep. Um, all right. So we're gonna head on out of here. I think. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm a. I'll pop the link in the chat. I don't think we're gonna hang out long out there, but I don't know if anyone wants to come while we finish this beer real quick or whatever. Yep. Just say hi. Uh, I'll do that. So I'll go ahead and pop that down in the link below. There we go. My wife actually gave me this Smutty Nose glass. She got it when she was a bartender, and Smutty Nose came into her work and gave out a bunch of merchandise. That's fun. So, yeah, that was uh, three three years ago now. <laughs> Jenny Screamers. Yeah, boy. No screamers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, of course, Poppy would show up right when we end. Too busy on his too busy on his Vision Pro. <laughs> hey, I, right, I, I gotta watch that video. <laughs> I'm one of the cool kids now. I hope they applauded him as he left the Apple Store. Poppy's just like on his Vision Pro with candied bacon from BK hanging out his mouth. Look, now I can eat a fake chicken sandwich too. <laughs> All right, gang. Uh, Streamyard link is in the chat uh, if you want to join us for uh, off air. Like I said. Could be five minutes, could be 10, could be 20. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. See you guys. Cheers. 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 Let's see if it takes forever to end. <laughs>